we're taking a big step into the digital and virtual world of the Hamburg Port Authority. And so even our interview is virtual. So we're not talking about the future. The future is here already. Is that right? That's exactly what I think. Virtual world, a digital twin, sensors and simulations. Find out what that all has to do with the HPA in this new edition of Port is what we do. So let's dive right in and find out first what is what's referred to as a digital twin. We meet Ulrich Baldauf. He's head of research and development at the Hamburg Port Authority. A digital twin is a digital update of a real object. It could be anything, a bridge or a building. And the key thing is not just having a nice 3D digital model of this real object, but having the model connected to data, real data that comes from sensors and also historic data. And connecting all this data and analyzing it is a major challenge. But how does that work precisely? On the one hand, for many years now, we've been using sensors, the Internet of Things, and we've been using virtual reality for several years now, where I can see a 3D model. We also have simulations, and we have the cloud everywhere. The art is to connect it all. Sounds interesting. So let's have a closer look at the term smart bridge. What's the Smart Bridge project about? Basically, it's all about maintenance. So we have a main piece of infrastructure, and we want it to be open for business as much as possible. And so the bridge, the Colbrandt Bridge in this case, is equipped with sensors, enabling us to forecast when maintenance is due. It means we can simulate big expensive changes in usage ahead of time using the digital twin, and play through potential problems and solutions without impacting the real world negatively. And there are many ways to use the digital twin. For example, we use it to simulate fire escape procedures. We have digital twin versions of many of our buildings. And if you do a fire drill in a model like this, a virtual fire, then the exercise is very similar to the real thing. The future is already here, and you can see that very well in the port traffic center of the future. And if you want to, we can go there now. OK, that's a great idea. Let's dive into the virtual reality. So here we are in the virtual port traffic center. Only great that we can take this trip into virtual reality together. Yes, it's a new step. I think it's really interesting in the digital twin to see not just how things are or were, we can also look into the future. And this port traffic center is a way of bundling traffic control. And you can tell that it's a vision that's not that far away, which is why we built a virtual port traffic center. It gives employees and others an idea of what it could look like. Beschäftigten und anderen einfach eine Idee davon, wie es aussehen kann. A virtual world you can grasp as transparent as possible and thus understandable for all employees. I can put up the Katwijk bridge here as a hologram. You can look at individual parts. You can imagine that all the data from sensors is up to date and you look at what's causing the problem. And from here I can send out a drone. It flies to the Katwijk bridge and I can see the live pictures here on the screen. The digital twin has a lot of added value and is multi-layered. One area is predictive maintenance and repairs. There's also safety and training, and also in terms of structures, we can plan buildings and look at them in the virtual world. In January, we started a five-year project called Connected Urban Twin, sponsored by the German Interior Ministry. It's about building urban twins. And the HBA were invited to participate, especially because we have this expertise in virtual reality, simulation and IoT. The future is here. Lots of fascinating projects and new opportunities in the port of Hamburg. 
and will keep you posted on developments in the real and virtual worlds. Port is what we do. 